During development, mitochondria are transported back and forth along neuronal axons to provide the energy needed for axonal growth. In adults, however, mitochondria become less mobile, as mature neurons produce a protein called syntophilin that anchors the mitochondria in place. Zhu Hang Sheng and colleagues at the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke wondered whether this decrease in mitochondrial transport might explain why adult neurons are typically unable to regrow after injury. So as we know, young neurons show robust axon regrowth, but mature neurons typically fail to regrow after injury, leading to permanent neurological impairments. So this unique syntophilin expression suggests a new intrinsic pathway a mechanism controlling axon regrowth capacity, such as increased syntophilin expression and the reduced mitochondrial transport in mature neurons, account for the mature neurons associated decline of regeneration. Sheng and colleagues, led by research fellow Bing Xu, first examined how syntophilin affects axonal regrowth in neurons cultured in microfluidic chambers. Using physical or laser-based injury, to remove axon terminal from these chambers, we found the syntophilin knockout neuron can display enhanced regrowth capacity three days after injury when compared to white type neurons. Joe et al. confirmed that wild type cortical neurons lost their ability to regrow severed axons as they matured in vitro, correlating with a progressive increase in syntophilin expression and a reduction in mitochondrial motility. They will try to uh, rescue these phenotypes. They will manipulate axonal transport in mature cortical neuron by expressing different transgenes, and then evaluate axonal regrowth six days after injury. If we express in syntophilin, which arrest all the mitochondrial transport that abolish axon regrowth after injury. In contrast, we're expressing motor adapter middle, which is driving mitochondrial transport, can enhance mitochondrial transport in axon, but also robustly increase axon regrowth capacity when compared to control neuron. So these results indicate the mature neuron can regain regrowth capacity by enhancing mitochondrial transport. This restoration of axonal regrowth capacity depended on mitochondrial ATP production. For example, syntophilin knockout neurons no longer showed robust axonal regrowth after injury when they were treated with the ATP synthase inhibitor oligomycin. To survival and injuries, the so neurons need to quickly reform an active growth cone where damaged membranes are resealed, and cytoskeletal structures are rearranged, or regrowth program is activated. So all these cellular process or events require high level of energy consumption. The local mitochondria and the axon terminal provide the ATP necessary to support axon regeneration. So we're using life imaging to monitor the local mitochondrial membrane potential in the ATP level. Then we found very interesting observations. So both the physical or laser-based injury is an acute stress signal to efficiently damage local mitochondria, reducing ATP supply to the glowing axon tips after injury. This energy deficit can be overcome in young neurons because healthy functional mitochondria can be transported to the axon terminal to replace the mitochondria damaged by injury. In mature neurons, however, syntophilin expression would inhibit mitochondrial transport to axon terminals, Joe et al. found that mature neurons lacking syntophilin showed increased mitochondrial transport after injury and enhanced recovery of mitochondrial function and ATP levels. So these results support the proper axon transport is essential to maintain mitochondrial integrity and the energy supply in response to injury-induced mitochondrial damage. Finally, 
Sheng and colleagues tested whether enhancing mitochondrial transport facilitated peripheral nerve regeneration in vivo. So we crunch injury cytokinol in adult syndophilic mice and control rhythmates in about two months old. Then we assess the level of regeneration three days post-injury. So we found the regenerating axons was significantly increased in syndophilic knockout cytokinol when compared to the control mice. That suggests the enhanced axon transport mitochondria indeed promote axon regeneration in vivos. Syntophilin is therefore part of an intrinsic pathway that limits the regenerative capacity of mature neurons. Targeting this pathway to enhance mitochondrial transport and the recovery of ATP levels could be an effective therapeutic strategy to facilitate the regeneration of human nerves damaged by injury or disease. So we are currently in the lab working in the two main directions. The so first, we try to test our mouse model in the central nerve system regeneration and how function recovery after injury. Then we also, in the in vitro study, we try to understand whether syntophilin mediate anchoring mechanism in mature neurons can be turned off or be regulated in response to injury or response to energy deficit signals. That's as, as two main studies ongoing in my laboratories. For now, though, you can learn more about the facilitation of axon regeneration by enhancing mitochondrial transport and rescuing energy deficits in the paper by Zhu et al., published in the July 4th, 2016 issue of the Journal of Cell Biology.